Watch the E stands for. He <laughs> is Boss Basser back in again another video. Today um I'll be doing a Sonic Screwdriver collection hashtag three. Um basically since of all the screwdrivers I've been getting recently, I'm going to be um showing them off. I did do uh, previous collections but then I expanded since then. So I'm gonna show you every single Sonic screwdriver I've got, even though there's a couple of broken ones in there. But hey, what can you do? Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the, the um, Doctor order. Uh, I will be including the War Doctor because the War Doctor was between the 8th and the 9th Doctor. Um, so let's start with the War Doctor, shall we? But I just realised I had the 8th Doctor's. Um, this is the 8th Doctor screwdriver. Um, it has been. Look, the paint start to rub off um, from the Sonic. Um, I've added a, a bit of like weathered detail on on it because it's that old. I got this given off a friend of mine. Um, named back then. Um, it was this bit had to be glued back on because literally it just kept falling off. Glued it back on. It still works. Um. Boy, it's really battered and worn down because of the paint. I want to repaint it, but I don't think it's repaintable or something. I don't know. Um, but anyways, looking at the detail, you've got the bullet tip, which is red. You've got the silver ring, which, the again, the silver paint's coming off around the little riveted sections here. And then you've got the next section, which, again, paint rubs coming, paint's rubbing off. And you've got this little... Um, colour section there, which on the fifth doctor is white. Um, then you've got these little grooves, which are usually coloured in black, but obviously the eighth doctor just had at least two colours on the screwdriver, which was red and copper. <coughs> um, this is this this little strike thing's not really on the toy when you buy it; it's fully solid. Um, but I added that on there. I don't know why. Um, then the button, well, was got. I went over it with a board pen, and it got into the button. And to activate it, press it three times. Press it four times. Change your batteries. All you need to do is unscrew that screw and two bolts and batteries are usually installed when you buy the product. You can usually sketch from this one, wave one, two, and three, and four. Okay, next screwdriver on the list is the War Doctor screwdriver. The pin is slowly starting to come off around the edges. Now, one thing I do notice with these, the first piece does tend to crack a bit. That's because of the glue. Because um, I'm in hot temperature at the minute um, in the summer, so it will crack the glue a bit. Um, we've got the red emitter which has like this little point inside and then you've got the little um, neck piece there and you've got this little indentation on the little dimple there like on the prop special on that one and then you've got this little ring section here again you've got your black line, you've got the basic shape of the body You've got this little black line and then another black line, the battery compartment and the red fez. Um, and then you've got this little bolt section here with the little nipple end. And the way you hold it is basically like this. Which has some sound effects from the 10th Doctor screwdriver sound. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, P. I've, when I did the review of this, I said there was a metal version of this that they used on Doctor Who. But actually, I've been watching Day of the Doctor on Mod Bro the other day, and I saw that this is in, well, the prop that I saw was actually plastic. Um, so basically, they've modified a catch option screwdriver and just done that, which again. Is showing like the next step up. So you've got the eighth, the eighth point one, then you've got the ninth, and then you've got your tenth. So, yeah, 
which is a nice touch. Okay, next screwdriver, speaking of the 10th, we have the 10th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. Um, with this, you would usually get two black, um, you usually get two ink nibs. I did review this, this is for the limited edition version. Um, it does come with the instruction manual, I've still got it in my drawer somewhere. Um, the whole point is that it works on two places. It works when it's in closed mode and it works when it's in extended mode. And looking at detail, you've got the red, no, not the red dome, you've got the blue dome, you've got the four struts around, you've got the inner, inner circle, which leads up to the LED, which is UV. You've got the ball section, which you hold it to the light, you can see wires going through it. And then speaking of wires, you've got this helix design, which is black, which, um, as I like to call it, a drill that's stuck inside of a plastic tube. Um, but that is incorrect because the Ninth Doctor had like the red and the black and David Tennant had the gold but luckily in the 50th anniversary special one they actually put the gold helix in and then they got the crackle design and for some strange reason my my model of the screwdriver has darker cracks which I like um, which is kind of cool and you've got those little teeth here which lines up very nicely when you uh, close it in like so Although you do get hideous C-Max on where the screwdriver has been joined together, but hey, you can't help it. Um, you've got, again, the blue strip, which... We don't know what the blue strip really does in the show. Um, there's been rumours saying that it's um, a setting dial, it's it's a readings... You're checking your reading thing, like Matt Smith flicks the screwdriver, looks at the gold band or whatever it looks like. You know. And then you've got the little tile here, which is actually a cover for the battery access point. And you've got these two little ridges here that goes down. And then again, another teeth mark in here, which on the prop is not present, but on the toy it is. Which you can pull off and change it into the black ink nib. I've got UV on. And the whole point of this is what you do is you write with it. You write with it, you shine it, and you read it, and be the doctor with it. So, looking at sound effects, now, this screwdriver's kind of a bit dodgy when it comes to the top button because of the, um, because of the placement, I don't know what's going on with it. It's a fine working screwdriver, it's just sometimes it's being a pain in the butt. I switched the buttons on the slider, so no matter where it was, you can still access it, but I'm not going to modify it, because that's the whole thing. I don't want to modify my sound screwdrivers. But I had to on one of them. Anyways, back into the sonic screwdriver. So, sound effect number one. We've got that UV colour. Sound number two. Sound number three. Sound number four. Basically, see it using the same sounds from the War Doctor screwdriver. Again, does also work in extended mode. Let's see what I mean. Because that is just a bit. There's one thing I don't like to do is press hard on these because that's what's um these are on it. It's like slight hard pressure on these; they'll snap off, and I don't want to snap them off. Um, but yeah, it's a great screwdriver. It's one of my favorite. Well. One of my favourites, one of my second favourites now because I like to use the Matt Smith or Capaldi screwdriver. Um, speaking of Matt Smith, well I don't have the 11th Doctor screwdriver, but before we do go on to that, again, this has been updated, I've uh, again shown you in a custom, I can't remember what video it was, but I did a video where I showed off um, customisation screwdrivers, where I customised a couple of screwdrivers. This one is the aged version of the Tenant screwdriver. You know, just a little light that came with the general of the impossible things, which is the re release version, which didn't come with the pen. But I did take the end off and managed to stick an end nib in it, and it, and it still works. Battery access point, easy. Again, you got your blue strip, nice detailing, nice crackle effect. Well, before that, it was all like wavy little faint lines. Um, but that's all it does, just lights up. 
don't extend um, which is a shame but hey it's only a little thing that came with the journal okay Matt Swift time well I don't have a Matt Smith screwdriver but then again Peter Capaldi had the same screwdriver as Matt Smith so I'm gonna say the flickable version of my screwdrivers um, is Matt Smith's and the other one is Capaldi's in fact I bought this last year from B&M the last two was in stock for six ninety nine each and um, so I spent about 12 12 pounds some 12 something I can't remember but hey I'm dropping screwdrivers oh what am I doing um, the reason why I had to modify this is because the button had broke on the inside and what I I'll tell you about it in a minute but basically look at detail you got the claw effect the nice claws the don't close in all the way well on the on the spring loaded version it doesn't close in all the way it's usually bulked out but since I modified this one it's closing a bit more you've got the green emitter you've got the four slats around there you've got the little grilled sections these pieces are not present on the props so hey incorrect but that's the only thing that's giving it on um, we've got the copper ring section here, you've got the black leather handle effect which is actually just painted plastic which is slowly rubbing off as you can see there um, also you've got the top button, you've got the second bottom um, the second button shall I say top button usually extends the screwdriver and opens the claws but, look, um, but unfortunately this had a little accident so I've had to uh, you know modify it then the second button activates the light to sound. This is the one that I usually used a lot. Press it three times. Then pressing it four times. And then when you extend it, you would have the red button. Which unfortunately doesn't properly work at the minute. So let's get it. So yeah, now the reason why it flicks open, literally, it flicks open, is because if I twist and pull, again, at such a point, um, I've had to take this off, I've had to take this off, I've had to take the spring out because, hey, it was t I, I just feel like taking the spring out, I just won't go back in, so I just thought i leave it out. Then I put some blue tack in it to add some weight put the red button back in because I still like to use the red button and then what I did was I got my broken touch control version which I'll get to in a minute um, took the button out of that one and I took the button out of that one and because the button was broken it was missing the peg now and the spring so I literally took the spring off that one and I pressure fitted it, it didn't properly fit because it was a different fitting so what I did is I pressure fitted it, then glued it in, and then it's just glued in. So now it's just flickable. It's keeping the claw stuck in there. If I can just, which is uh, pretty well made. So, okay, twelve dots of Sonic number two. I actually bought two of these and did it in the same video. Yeah, I've, the boxes. You want to see the boxes, literally. These are all the boxes for my screwdrivers. Ta da! <laughs> there was in that box down there. Then I got Rivers Sonic Screwdriver box on the side there, which you can just see. Um, I might have just seen a lightsaber, actually. Um, but yeah, this one is the one that I rarely use because it's a hey, the paint's still matte, which. Again, when you buy it, the paint's matte, but after you use it a while, it does go into a, a shiny sheen version. Um, so I can show you that the claws are usually up, more open on this one. You've got the button on the bottom. Press top button extends it. You can't use that button, so you have to use that one. Okay.
and then you close it like that. Um, when I bought these, they had a bit of a white thing inside them. I don't know what was going on, but when I bought them, they had a bit of white substance from the glue. Um, shut up. Um, for those who uh, like to think about it, don't know what's up. But hey, uh, it had it had a bit of um, glue on the inside, so I literally had to take these off. Pull it all off and clean that. The same with that one, and they're both working still. So yeah, that's uh, 12 Doctor Strange screwdriver. 11 Doctor Strange. Well, I like to call it the 11 because it flicks open. 12 Doctor Strange screwdriver. Now this was the touch control version which um, my man's friend bought me for Christmas at one point, and after a couple of weeks, the um, the wires was that thin. After using the springs so much times, it literally broke the mechanism and literally broke the whole system on the inside. So I thought, hey, why not just customise it, make it flippable. This is all it's held on on the inside, it's blue tack, literally held on by a blue tack. But it's a very nice inversion of the broken screwdriver from the Ma Magician's Apprentice. Got the control. Um, module here which I've done up a bit done it up a bit you know flicks open I've just put the old button back in because it was just weird of all it in and that's it right moving on to the 12 Doctor Sonic screwdrivers um, this is the Universe Remote made by the one company which I did a review of which took me forever to find out the controls uh, and, I was, and the one thing I had to do, which I hate doing, is reading. Yeah, and it flicks open. It's turned off at the minute. Controls my lights and TV be gone and tears off my TV and turns it back on. Because you can turn things on and off with it on TV be gone mode. Um, which is has a nice heft to it. Nice detail of the... Sonic, the claws are more closed in, you've got these little little indents on the sides and you've got these little red sections which are made to be like the rivets from the prop and then on the inside you've got the little white little um say white wash in the colour um which adds really nice detail into it and it has a very nice weight to it, it's a bit top heavy but hey what can you do? This bottom here, again, the copper plate and centre come off, which does it eventually, you can't really see it. You can just see it there. This little section here is starting to rub off. Is it? No, 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 there it is. There you go, you can see a bit's come off there. Um, got little white black flecks in the handle. Um, my stitch in the pattern on the back. And of course, it flicks. The Life of Doctor's version did not flick open, which people was contacting the one company. And actually, the one thing I like about the one company, they actually listen. They've made Star Trek phasers, which my dad wants. Um, they made the Harry Potter ones, which I'm not really keen on, but hey, something. They made the Ted Doctor one, which I really want to get at some point. Um, but they're out of stock. I know, but at least I've got this one. So that's 12 Doctor Sarge Crew Driver Universe Remote, which does come with a stand, which is up there. Speaking of 12 Doctor, let's go with the one that I first started off with. Way back when I started my YouTube channel, I did the first ever collection video of Sonic Screwdrivers, which was this one. This one's a bit lighter now because there's no electronics in it. This was the one that I was saying was going to turn into a torch, but it didn't really work out. As you can see, I've had to cut the clamps off fats and it literally took me forever trying to get this gold ring section off to separate. All you had to do was literally, it was literally, um, I had to squeeze these when I took the, off, took the head off, the clamp section off, squeeze it and cut it at the closest possible and pull that section off and then when I couldn't get it back on I had to sand it and then I managed to pressure fit it on. Um, 
So this is just a broken version of the top of the second screwdriver, as you can see. So yeah, that's the top doctor second screwdriver. Second screwdriver. I will have a look in detail on this one because hey, I've got another one. Uh, speaking of uh, broken, this one has just lost its sound effects, so I can't really show you the sound effects no more. But whilst we can, we can look at the detail and have a look at the modes on it. And um, we have the triangular top section here. We've got the um, five little dice-looking little uh, lights there, like rods going around it, like looking like the TARDIS um, rotor. Gold band going around with the clamps closed in, doing nothing, just holding the emitter in place or something like that. You've got these little rivet sections here, which are in the show coloured gold. On the back you've got this um, little nub here, and on the prop it has one up here as well. Um, then you've got the dial, which has um, a spring switch, which you can which you can see. The gold ring down here, with a black little um, indentation there. Speaking of indentations, you've got um, silver plate in there with the gold indentations. Then round here you've got the other little hex head screw things going around it holding these in place which is just glue and then you've got these little plastic sections here which are very strong um, which has a glue section on the side and then it doesn't tip off neatly it just tips off with a silver nipple gold band glue screw and little die like section from the top and the functions are when you did it on the top it did the normal sound effects, in fact I'll have to show you. And, the, and no matter how many times you press the top, it would still do the same as the... I've lost the sound effect, so I'm going to have to make it do. Then the top did the... Hang on. And then the bottom did the. <laughs> well, um, it does slightly work, but I don't want to risk losing it again. In fact, I don't want to. I, 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 I sound like I've got something going on with. Okay. That's not a piece of wire, that's a piece of string. I was going to get a piece of wire and try and get the speaker working again. Um, which only was a temporary fix. But the only way to actually do it is to take it all apart and actually replace the speaker. Which I don't want to do, because... Last time I took one of them apart, it literally broke the circuit board. That's going not to detail. So that's the 12 Doctor's second screwdriver. And then, boom! At the end. Regeneration. Regeneration, regeneration, regen, regeneration. Um, we have the Sonic, <coughs> not the Attentive Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, which has only just been released by Cat Options. Well, not really. It's been released by Amazon. This I actually got the last one as well because when I pre-ordered this, I was one of the first people to actually get it off Amazon. Other people got it from Forbidden Planet or something like that. Um, mine. The only thing that's wrong with mine is the touch sensor is not recognisable on this. But it did work for a split second when I opened the battery compartment downstairs. Which was a pain in the butt. But hey. It, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really bother me. Um, but I just wish the top button would actually do something. Okay, on the 720 version is a lot skinnier and a lot smaller. Which looks a bit too brittle. And it's so absolutely expensive in the UK. It's about... 40 something quid in the UK and, and yet you have to get it tax import and all that stuff which is extra I'm not paying that much so I spent it on a different screwdriver which I did a review of yesterday have a look at the detail we have the emitter which has the silver mesh going around you've got this like silver looking like a, a plate effect going around with a crystal showing through all the way inside and you got this little section here, which in the show is supposedly rotatable. And you've got your speaker grill there, which is disguisable. Um, and you've got this little section here, which is a bit bent. 
with the um, little play sections going through. Um, but Saxon 7 was, idea was, a very, very rude version of the Sonic Screwdriver, which I'm not going to say because it's family friendly content, or supposedly. Oh dear me. So, looking at the features, button B, not button B, that's button B. Button B is a dummy, dummies are literally stupid. Why the hell did they do that? Why can't they just mould it on or something? Button A. It's a standard clicking noise, you know. And hold down. But it takes a few seconds to boot up and then let go. The light slowly fades out. And then pressing it twice. On the 720 version, the meter rotates, which is the diagnostic sound. And again, keep pressing it four times like the max of a screwdriver. Press it three times. Now, on the trailer, on the teaser from um, an image that we all just started to know about the new screwdriver, and people said they hated the design. Um, even though I hated the design, but I'm starting to appreciate it. Um, on the image, it showed the Sonic in red setting. So, what if this had a red setting? No, it doesn't. Okay. Now, it would be good if Couch Options would actually put a red setting in, because, hey... Button B could do something. Try that. Okay, now this is a screwdriver that I literally forgot to um, put near between the 10th and the 11th screwdriver. This is obviously a screwdriver that does not belong to the Doctor, but it can be used by the Doctor because of the ring, the ring recognition on it. This is a Sonic used by the Doctor's companion that he meets in the future, but David Tennant met her in... Um, in the wrong time. So basically, Rivers told him her secret, which again, the doctor told her when she was Matt Smith, when she, in the husband of Rivers saw. Anyways, here's a screwdriver, which I reviewed yesterday. Uh, I would go into detail, all it is. Full dampers around the emitter, clear emitter for the red and blue settings, got this gold ring, you got this little cylinder inside leading up to the LED, got this next section here which again its teeth knocked off. And then you've got these little side things which I don't know what they're for, but you have the tidy return button which is also the activation button for the screwdriver. Crackle effects, which is basically a big and bulkier version than this as you can see. About the same size as Dave Tent screwdriver, just slightly a bit taller due to the emitter on this. And uh, we got the um, panel section here which when you can be removed. You can see the new relay with the self button um, which again hides that cracked effect on it. And then you got these little sections here which has this green little washers on. And again you got this little section here and again another gold section here. And the black end cap which looks a bit like Dave Tent's from the screwdriver. And uh, basically you put your pinky around the base, and I can't stand doing that. I would like to do it like that, because, hey, it's a lot comfortable. And then you have to visit it from the top. It has that nice blue effect. And the button press is a lot instant. And then a second function is, red setting, you, press it quick, you quickly press the silver button. Like that. Which at the Sonics a sound, it does have the chirping sound. And when you hold down the silver button for a few seconds, the new relay lights up so you can basically read at the scene. Oh, you clever! Look at that! There we go. <laughs> Which you can actually do it sound like that. Hang on.
I better stop now. Um, battery access point is pretty easy. Twist and pull, boom, a child. Your battery access point with a head head screw, a hex head screw, shall I say? On this one, I forgot is that you right there. You unscrew that, and Bob's your uncle is a pin in the neck to pull that back on as well. Which took me about five minutes to get the battery cover back on. <laughs> um, which this is at least one of the best screwdrivers I've ever reviewed. Well, I can't really say that. The only downside to this has the seam going across and the LED is a bit wonky, which I can't really do nothing. Now, the TFC, um, well, the guy named the Cyberman fan was actually changed his name to TFC, whatever it was. Um, the Cyberman fan, so not T C F, yeah, TFC. No, T C F, yeah. Uh, um, did a modification to it. He actually rubbed off some of the paint and some silver. Literally painted that blue, but you can still see the red through it. And all he did is he aged it pretty well. And I, I tell you what, it is a pretty good mod modification you can do with it. Um, so in total of screwdrivers, I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is that right? I thought you had twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I've got twelve. Um, but if I include the broken ones, that is, which I will do. So, size comparison time. The smallest screwdriver of them all is, of course, not River Sonic. It's the little version of the 10th screwdriver which came with a journal which actually dwarfs it Sonic problems, she does that sometimes mm. anyways, again compared to the River Song screwdriver tiny the tenants mm, about the same small Small. Still small, but at least the Fetium screwdriver is actually pertaining back to the small size of Sonic's, which looks like you could just hold it like a gun. Speaking of holding it like a gun, yesterday I was just doing this downstairs. Like it was a gun. Um, so yeah. So that is all of my Sonic screwdrivers so far. Um, I would appreciate it if you guys would hit the like button and also subscribe today if you are new. And also turn on the bell icon so you can be notified when I next upload. Always, I do shout outs in the videos. Um, and a shout out goes to Sir Squirrel. His channel link will be linked in the description below. Don't forget to check it out. And I shall see you on the other side. Alonzi.